legendary machines ever built by the United States. Today, we're taking you into the heart of aviation history with the State Route 71 Blackbird, a retired American reconnaissance aircraft that still holds its place as one of the most iconic and mysterious jets ever created. The State Route 71 wasn't just a jet, it was a technological marvel, an engineering masterpiece so fast, so high-flying, and so secretive that even decades after its retirement, it continues to inspire awe and wonder. Built for one purpose, to spy from the edge of space, the State Route 71 Blackbird flew higher than any fighter jet and outran every missile that tried to catch it. And in this video, we're going to explore everything about this legendary machine, its top speeds, its stealthy shape, how it was built, how it avoided enemy attacks, and of course, how much it cost in US dollars, both then and now. The State Route 71 Blackbird was developed in the 1960s by Lockheed Martin's Secret Skunk Works Division, led by the legendary aircraft designer Clarence, Kelly, Johnson. At the height of the Cold War, the United States needed a platform that could gather intelligence without being shot down, as had happened with the U-2 spy plane in 1960 when it was hit by a Soviet surface-to-air missile. The answer was a jet that could fly at speeds exceeding Mach 3 and at altitudes above 85,000 feet, making it practically untouchable by enemy defenses of that era. The very look of the State Route 71 Blackbird is enough to tell you it wasn't ordinary. With its sleek, long fuselage, sharp chines running along the body, and two massive after-burning engines sitting in nacelles along the wings, it resembled something out of a science fiction movie. But this bird was very real, and it flew dozens of missions over hostile territory without ever being hit. The secret was speed. If radar spotted it, and a missile was launched, the crew's response was simple. They pushed the throttle forward and outran the threat. That's how fast this jet was. Let's talk about its specifications. The State Route 71 was powered by two Pratt & Whitney J-58 axial flow turbojet engines with afterburners. These were not normal jet engines. They could operate continuously at afterburner for the entire flight, which is something most modern fighter jets can't do without destroying their engines. These engines allowed the Blackbird to cruise comfortably at Mach 3.2, or over 2,200 miles per hour. At that speed, you could fly from New York to London in under two hours. Now here's the incredible part. At speeds above Mach 3, the friction between the air and the jet's surface caused the aircraft's skin to heat up to over 600 degrees Fahrenheit. In fact, the aircraft would expand in flight. That's why when it was sitting on the ground, the State Route 71 often leaked fuel, the panels didn't fully seal until it was heated up at high altitude. And that's not a flaw. That was part of the design. Because it flew so fast and so high, the State Route 71 needed to be made from materials that could withstand intense heat and pressure. That's why much of the aircraft was built from titanium, a rare and expensive material. And in one of the greatest ironies of the Cold War, much of the titanium used in the State Route 71 came from the Soviet Union, its main adversary. The CIA set up dummy companies to purchase the material without tipping off the Russians about what they were doing. Let's talk about stealth. While the State Route 71 wasn't fully stealth like today's B-2 Spirit or F-35 Lightning II, it had many stealth features that reduced its radar cross-section. Its black paint was not just for aesthetics, it contained radar-absorbing materials and helped dissipate heat. Its shape also helped minimize radar reflections, making it hard to track, especially at high speeds and altitudes. That's why it was so successful in reconnaissance missions, flying over hot zones like North Korea, Vietnam, and the Soviet Union without being hit. Despite its massive size, about 107 feet long with a wingspan of 55 feet, the State Route 71 was remarkably agile at high altitudes. It could maneuver well enough to avoid incoming missiles. Over its career, more than 4,000 missiles were launched at the Blackbird, and none ever hit it. Not one. That's a perfect record of survival in hostile skies. Its cameras and sensors could capture detailed images from 85,000 feet, including enemy airbases, missile sites, and troop movements. It was like having a satellite, but with wings. The crew of the State Route 71 consisted of two, a pilot and a reconnaissance systems officer. They wore full-pressure suits similar to those used by astronauts. That's how high they were flying. From the cockpit, they could see the curvature of the Earth. Flying the Blackbird was like sitting on the edge of space. 
Now let's come to one of the most interesting parts, the cost. When the State Route 71 was first developed in the 1960s, each aircraft cost around $33 million US dollars at the time, which would be over $300 million in today's money when adjusted for inflation. And remember, this was just the cost of the aircraft itself. When you include the special fuel, called JP-7, ground support equipment, maintenance, and specialized training, the operating cost skyrocketed. The State Route 71 was one of the most expensive aircraft to maintain and operate in U.S. Air Force history. In fact, it was so expensive that this was one of the reasons the Air Force eventually retired it. Even refueling was complex. The State Route 71 was so thirsty that it often had to refuel in mid-air shortly after takeoff. It carried about 12,000 gallons of fuel and burned it at a rapid rate. That special JP-7 fuel had such a high flash point that it wouldn't ignite with a match. It needed a chemical ignition system called TEB, triethylborane, which would burn with a bright green flash. Every time the engine started, there was that signature green flame, something only the State Route 71 had. A total of 32 State Route 71 aircraft were built, and 12 were lost due to accidents, not enemy fire. That's an impressive safety record, considering the extremes these planes operated in. The rest are now museum pieces, on display at places like the Smithsonian's Udvar Hazy Center, the Museum of Flight in Seattle, and the U.S. Air Force Museum in Dayton, Ohio. Standing next to one of these jets today, you can still feel its power. It may be silent now, but the presence is unmistakable. The State Route 71 was officially retired in 1998, though some brief reactivations occurred in the 1990s. When satellites became more advanced and drones started emerging, the need for manned reconnaissance jets declined. But to this day, no operational aircraft has matched the Blackbird's combination of speed, altitude, and survivability. It was a machine ahead of its time. In fact, even today, military analysts and aviation experts often compare new reconnaissance.